The March of Dimes Signature Chef's Auction is coming up. It's Monday, September the 18th. Come join us at the Franklin Marriott in Cool Springs. I'll be there. Channel 4 is a huge sponsor of it. Uh, a bunch of talented chefs are going to be cooking, including Chef V from Barcelona Wine Bar in Edge Hill. This is incredible. Look at the spread. Like, is this something that you could do when you go into uh, Barcelona? Yes. Oh. All, all these cheeses that we have here, we have it in our menu. And these are some of the most incredible Spanish uh, cheeses. Uh, it is, uh, it's a popular saying, uh, sweet dreams are made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we to disagree? <laughs> so. I've never heard that version of the Eurythmic oh song, but I'm all about it. It's so great. So, okay, so I was totally mistaken. I thought this was prosciutto, but it does have a different look to it. What type it of is, ham is this? That is a jamón uh, mangalica. It is uh, very similar to uh, prosciutto. Prosciutto is one of the most popular cured meat, uh, but mangalica, it is a uh, heritage pork, which is bred in Hungary. Uh, oh, and wow. then they, they slaughter it there, and then they bring it to Spain, and then it's cured, and then it's processed the same way as jamón serrano. Ooh. This is one of the most incredible uh, pieces of uh, cured meat you could ever have. Okay, which one well, is that? Can we is give it there? That is right here, this one. Oh, yeah. one. Okay. And, uh, what is this one? Right. That is jamón serrano. Ah, yeah. now you serve these meats at Barcelona, At Barcelona, yes. yes. Um, oh, I'm a fan. Oh, yeah, I like that. I mean, I'd like to say I could replicate this, but <laughs> it's I'm not go with that no. difficult. Tell, talk about <laughs> what's best to pair. Yeah, I see you've got some soft cheeses, some hard ones. Wh which ones that might be a real go-to? So yeah, uh, for party house parties, uh, depending on the size of the people you invite, uh, having a cheese board which is like just enough for say four or five people. Uh -huh. I would suggest using uh, expensive and slightly more uh, unique uh, meats and cheeses. Okay, like okay. so for a small group, do a little more yeah, price point. Less okay. is more, uh, and then let the the ingredient, let the, the products do the do the work. You okay, what cheese is this? That is aged mahon. It is uh -huh. a cow's milk cheese. Uh, slightly aged. Uh, it's up to uh, around six months. Oh, that's it nice. has a nice nutty flavor. Wow. It's like crystallization. Well, and I notice you do have some nuts that are in here. So, yeah. so that kind of brings out the flavor yes, of the cheeses? It does. It awesome. does. So fruits, nuts, uh, candies, uh, you know, and then olives or anything, uh, antipastis, they would all accompany great with uh, the meats and cheese. This is for a slightly larger crowd? This is crowd. Like for a slightly larger crowd. I okay. uh, suggest using uh, small bits and pieces of cheeses, I cut them down into pieces so it's easier for the guests to, to eat. And uh, having mm -hmm. a variety of cheeses, like a soft cheese, a hard cheese. Let's uh, talk about what, it, what are the meats here? Uh, this that is... one is a local uh, meat. Uh, it comes from Smoking Goose uh, Charcuterie. Uh, it's in um, Indiana. Oh. And that one is uh, uh, it's called Dot City Salumi. It is flavored with pink peppercorn and fennel pollen. Okay. Yum. Yes, that is, that's Indiana girl. Got an Indiana girl. Right. Indiana girl. <laughs> so I have go to taste it. this. You know, okay, give us a tip too on the soft cheeses. The best way to serve those. I mean, do you I have to have like a, something with it? Uh, usually, it. yeah, if, if it's a, a tangy cheese, you don't really need anything, just a, a piece of cracker or, okay. or a piece of bread. But if something like brie, such as serving a jam or a compote, a fruit compote, oh, and some nuts, nice, that nice. would uh, accompany it very well. Okay. So this, this big is like board the, over here. Yep, piece de resistance, yep. You do the brie. <laughs> Okay, this is a silly question. Do you cut out? Do you ever cut off the rind? The rind? Actually, you can, but I like eating the rind. You like you the do. rind? I do. Okay. Yeah. And the right. Rinds are. I'm, I'm a rind eater. So. <laughs> I'm a rind eater. You know what? Confessions are good. We you like confessions. Okay. The other cheeses. You have little flags. What that's, is this? That's uh, called San Simone. It's a smoked uh, cow smoked cheese. Ooh, that's that's one of my cheese. favorite. It, it melts great. It's great on grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh. And then. Yum. Always include some cheese which people are familiar with, okay. like manchego. Everyone knows what manchego is, right. so having that in a, in a platter would really be helpful. What is this? This is uh, a really amazing uh, sweet ch uh, cherry pepper. Oh. It comes from Brazil. Even... You should try it. Look it's how it's great. Yeah, it's so are. vibrant and it tastes like. Should I just try it straight just up? Try it tr yep. Okay, it is, it's it sweet go. and uh, it's it, tangy. Girl. It's beautiful. It it's a Brazilian. Mm. It's so ah, amazing, right? It's so simple. So good. We could stay here and nosh all day long, everybody. <laughs> Tickets are still available for the March of Dice Signature Chefs auction. It's happening on September the 18th. You can go to signaturechefs.org slash music city. Carol's going to be there. Chef is going to be there. This That's is right. Be there. And you're it's always amazing. at Barcelona, so go see them in Edge Hill mm. because, oh my goodness, these meats are incredible. And